Hello Aquarius, this is Tara by Tess with your October 2017 reading. I have your situation, what's coming towards you in October, um, the advice, and the likely outcome. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the bottom of the decks. An overall idea, possibly an outcome, a theme, um, advice, is the Six of Swords reversed. Um, if it comes to love, this is usually saying something about um, working to overcome something, um, some kind of a difficulty, but it's usually temporary. And you're going to have to be very persistent. Um, it could even be um, seeking counsel at some point um, to get out of a situation because there's something that's being held on to, something that's very painful. Um, you could feel very defensive. But I'm also seeing that you're really close to a situation and you need to get away for some perspective. Um, and you don't really have any peace. Um, and it's possible that if a love interest may have changed feelings towards you, okay? It could be a spouse because we have Empress and Emperor and then we also have the lovers, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn because we have um, the devil. could be dealing um, with an Aries um, and a Gemini. We have the Ten of Swords, which is a Gemini card, and so is the Lovers. So you could really be dealing with another air sign, a Gemini. We have quite a few swords in here. Um, so you could be dealing with another air sign. It doesn't really matter the signs, though. I just want to bring up because for those people, it may be even more pertinent. On the bottom of the clarification, of course, we have the lovers. So I feel like it has to do with a relationship. Could even be a third party because sometimes it means a love triangle. And there is some kind of a spiritual path that you're trying to take. Um, when we talk about changing, I think there's some kind of a temptation around. And you're trying to avoid it. But I'm also seeing freedom from guilt freedom from bondage, um, those kinds of things. And I do see that in your advice with the devil reversed. So these two are the same thing and they're very reminiscent of each other, but only when this guy's in reverse. Um, but I feel like there's been a toxic love situation and there's been some kind of a, um, a block when it comes to this relationship. It could even be a block uh, when it comes to being pregnant. And I do see a lot of that in here, okay? Um, because your situation is the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> this could be a betrayal in love. It could also be with the Empress here, in vitro fertilization, or um, multiple miscarriages, okay? And I um, also feel with the Emperor here that you know something, okay? Um especially with the High Priestess here as well, they're saying you know something, but you're not really aware that you know it, okay? Um, but this is definitely about like a, a marriage or parents because we have the Emperor and Empress, and that's like the ultimate parent couple or the ultimate power couple or both. Um, and I'm feeling that there's a need to be diplomatic about whatever's going on to use your words carefully. Because this is a very sensitive topic, especially when it comes around um, miscarriages and trying to have a baby in general. Okay, it's a very sensitive topic. And also this tells me that you're focusing on the negative in a relationship. And the relationship is maybe on its way out. And it could be due to all this trauma that's been going on. And remember, the advice is you may need to seek some counsel, okay? All right, what's coming towards you? Now we have the emperor, Empress reversed. So when I pulled these out, I pulled the uh, main cards first. So the Empress reversed came out. And so I immediately thought, okay, not pregnant. Okay, in vitro did not work. Um, and when the devil in reverse, they, okay, they couldn't chain this down. They couldn't hold it down. So either a relationship or uh, pregnancy could not be held down. Um, but then when I clarified, we had the Empress upright, so we had her twice, which is, makes me feel like you're pregnant and then not pregnant, pregnant and then not pregnant. Um, 
And it's something you really, really desire with the Seven of Cups here for whoever this is. For people, it's about love. We'll get into that some more. Um, so the Empress Reversed um, talks about there's no promise, there's no growth, no fertility, something's not going anywhere. It could be, I could definitely see, especially with the de devil here, a clandestine relationship where somebody's married. Okay, it could be you, like maybe your spouse is, um, you know, finding someone on the side. It could be you with somebody who's married. Um, it could be you getting something on the side. Um, I could definitely see that here with the Seven of Cups and the High Priestess. Um, and the lovers, too. And the thing is, I feel like this is a secret. So, I get the feeling like you don't know this. Like you don't know they're married. Um, and I really, I don't know why this popped into my head, so very sorry to bring it up. But you can't figure out why you keep having a miscarriage. For those of you, you know, women... And I kind of get the feeling that it, that somebody's doing something intentional. And here, you know, we have the seven of cups. It's usually cups, but here we have hands. And then the advice is choose wisely. So I feel like there's something you're drinking and you don't know what's going on, okay? Um, what I'm not saying that like you're drinking wine or something like that. I'm not blaming you. I'm saying that for very few people, hopefully very few, um, there may be somebody who's doing something. They're like manipulating the situation. Not very good. Um, and I've never got that in a reading before. Um, but this is saying like get rid of the toxicity. And that's, um, now some of you, it actually could be drinking a whole lot or smoking or drugs because we do have the devil in reverse here, but that tells me you're getting out of it. So it's also saying choose wisely. Also, for those of you in a love relationship, I'm seeing you're letting go of something that's toxic that you've been thinking about over and over again. So that's a good thing. But when there's infertility, especially with the Ten of Swords here and the High Priestess, this tells me about um, PCOS, hormones, is an issue. And that's usually a very big symptom of PCOS is not being able to carry children. And so with her in reverse, this is saying less feminine, more masculine. And this is saying, yes, there's probably something going on with that. She's a very feminine sign here, but this one's in reverse. And she usually has to do with emotions. I mean, um, not emotions, sorry, <laughs> hormones, whenever it comes to this kind of a reading. Normally she'd be in reverse if, she, if it was really bad. So it may just be something slight. But whatever it is, you know it, but you're not sure you know it. So if you have a suspicion about something, I would follow that up because this says you have your intuition, use it. But with the two of swords right next to it, I feel like you've been blinding yourself to it. You've been not making a decision. Um, but see, what's coming towards you is a lack of femininity and then a whole bunch of masculinity. I also feel as if you feel very powerless uh, for women, especially. Um, with the Empress Reverse, because normally this is, you know, I have encouragement, this is great, I'm growing, I'm beautiful, I'm woman, that kind of thing. And then here we have this. So somebody feels like their beauty's fading. Um, could be somebody's constantly thinking about being a mother. Somebody's constantly mothering someone. That's why the Ten of Swords is here. That's why the Lovers is here. It's a mothering type of relationship. Um... And then with the devil and the empress, it talks about difficulties conceiving. However, I do feel like there's an end to that um, because this is your advice. And this is saying, choose wisely to have an end to this difficulty conceiving. And because this is cups, I feel like there's something about drinking. There may be somebody who's putting something in your drink. There may be a particular drink that doesn't bode well with your body. Um, I'm not sure. I'll get more clarification in a little bit. But yeah, I think you just feel like you have a loss of personal power because the emperor can make things happen. They're powerful. And then here we have powerless. So you feel powerless, but you want to be powerful. And then in a relationship, you feel powerless, feeling like the weak woman, and then it's because somebody's domineering. 
<sighs> but whatever it is, you need a break because the devil in reverse with the six of swords in reverse. I feel like you're trying to get out. This is you, you're not holding. You're holding on, not letting go. And I'm saying you do need to do that, and the advice is to do that as well. So again, it's your choice. Please choose wisely. Because with the Ten of Swords here, you're thinking about sad thoughts over and over and over again. And something's just amiss with the lovers, and here are the lovers over here. Okay? So something's just not right with this relationship for love. And I believe there is a mistress because of the High Priestess. Okay? Now, I just thought of a <clears throat> one of those true crime kind of videos I've seen on TV before. It made me think of it. A woman recorded um, her married partner, which actually that fits in what really well with this reading, now that I'll think about it. Um, that's why it popped up. <clears throat> okay, so a woman was dating a married man. And, or, yeah. Now, either it was his wife that had been pregnant or his person he was having an affair with was pregnant. I'm not sure. But either way, whoever was pregnant, he was poisoning their drink because he wanted to be with the other person. And so she had to set up video because she kind of finally picked up on what was happening. So if that's you, please do be careful, especially if you're caring. Uh, others of you, I think you could just be um, pregnant and then somebody's having an affair. Um, I'm very sorry about that. Um, the thing is, your intuition's telling you something. You don't like it, and so you're not wanting to see it. Um, and also, I think you're missing some information. Um, and that's what the high priestess is withholding. Yeah, because with the devil <coughs> right next to the high priestess, I think somebody may be getting out of an affair. This is something like, ooh, we have lots of options, okay? But there is something kind of amiss with these lovers. And then here and here says there's an affair or some kind of blackmail going on, some kind of a manipulation, which could be a manipulation of someone's um, food intake, drink intake. <clears throat> and so I'm seeing whoever's very charming is the person you want to watch out for and get away from. But you may just not know when somebody's shady here because in the upright you don't know it. But here your intuition can help you. I'm also seeing as advice, if you want something, you have to visualize it. This says visualize your goals um, being met and keep very positive. Okay, so again, with these sad thoughts that you keep having, there's a need to be more positive instead. Okay, clarifying the high priestess, I got two of swords reversed. So this is saying, take off the blindfold, listen to your intuition, make that decision, because it's saying, if you do that, you won't be missing information anymore. You also won't have those sad thoughts, that mental conflict anymore. Um, the two of swords has two cards, because it's the two of swords. It was clarified by eight of pentacles reversed which is um, needing something so much that you ruin the plans and um, wanting it to be perfect that you just sabotage yourself. I'm also seeing not fruitful, like not making something. And so I'm seeing this is a big red stop sign when it comes to relationships, okay? So whatever relationship this is about, it's a big red stop sign because the person's not committed, so I think there could be an affair. Um, when the High Priestess is involved, which is one of the cards that's kind of clarifying a little bit, it talks about fraud, okay? So somebody's just not being honest. Um, if you're doing in vitro and it's not working, it could be because they're just taking your money and not giving you something. I mean, there's all kinds of options when it comes to fraud. All right, and the Nine of Wands suggests um, finding your courage and protecting yourself and never giving up, okay? Because you're stronger than you ever imagined. Um, I definitely see that with this card. This also talks about a revelation, so I think you're gonna find out something, especially because we have the High Priestess and the Two of Swords in Reverse says you, you will know something, the information won't be missing anymore. And with the Empress, um, 
see, it's kind of funny because here it says, you know, somebody's fraud, like somebody's defrauding you with the high priestess. And the nine of wands with the high priestess says, watch for being taken advantage of. Um, and with the empress as well, especially if she's twice in here and one's in reverse. So I'm seeing be ready to fight, have courage, and just kind of hang in there. And maybe you're protecting a relationship, you're protecting the baby. Um, it could be saying that your likely outcome is you're going to change your sad thoughts to help protect the baby you, you're currently carrying. Because emotions can have a lot to do if you're stressed, from what I've, I've heard anyway. Um, and the thing that scares me a little bit is whoever this emperor person is, whoever is the father in the situation, whoever is the spouse or the boyfriend. Because um, one, they're domineering. But with the nine of wands, normally this is a head injury and somebody is very cautious about what's lurking out there. And then with the nine of wands and the emperor, it says responsible position. So uh, to me, this talks about a responsible party. So whatever is going on that's toxic, this emperor person is responsible. So if somebody is manipulating your food intake or drink intake, I'd be looking to this person. It may possibly be an Aries, doesn't have to be, just somebody domineering. And, and because we have the empress here too, the father of the baby or the boyfriend in the relationship. Um, if somebody's having an affair, then they would be the responsible party as well. So it's not you. Okay. Um, unless, of course, you're a male watching this, then it's possible. <sighs> but see, also, the Nine of Wands... We have something that's you know, not really going anywhere. And then the Nine of Wands hints of growth, okay? Because just one more wand, which Ace of Wands means pregnancy, okay? And um, you would have the Ten of Wands, which is your goal. You've reached it. It's the pinnacle of wands. And I feel as if this is saying you could get there, but you got to get away from this toxic person, whoever this emperor person is. And they're also right next to the Seven of Cups. So I think they're charming, very charming and tempting. But I just, I don't get a good feeling at all. I get, I get false. You know, again, that red stop sign with the Eight of Pentacles reversed. They're very vain and greedy. And I'm seeing it's not working, it's not fruitful. There's just a big barrier up. And the Nine of Wands and the High Priestess actually go together, a lot like the Ten of Swords and the Lovers go together. So I'm definitely seeing um, Nine of Wands and Empress being taken advantage of in whatever way. So be careful with the Eight of Pentacles reversed of money, okay? Because we also have loss of a harvest, and this could be dealing with all of that. So you may be paying money for in vitro and not actually getting anything out of it. All right, let's do one for the devil and oh, seven of cups, which is advice. Okay, Ooh, eh. okay, we have ace of cups, which can be a pregnancy, but what scares me is you're being offered a cup. And this is saying get rid of toxic things, and then we have drink, which can be drugs, it can be drinking, okay? It uh, doesn't have to be that serious. It could just be drinking something that you don't know has been tampered with. And somebody's like, here, take these cups. There you go. Normally it's love, but here it doesn't seem that great. You know what I mean? Um, seven of cups plus one more cup is eight of cups. And that says get the hell out. Or somebody's thinking about getting the hell out. Let's see. What else was there? Ooh, nine of swords reversed. Yeah, getting out of that anxiety. Now I feel like you're... It's going to be very hard to become the Eight of Cups and leave because Nine of Swords is reversed here. Um, but this is saying Lord of Cruelty. But you're getting out of it. Both of these go together very well. So do these. Okay, you're getting out of it. And with the Empress, it also talks about unwise spending. So be careful of that. Or unwise actions. And I'm seeing just be patient. 
Um, good news will be on the way. Just make sure that you're trying to resolve the situation. Make sure you're looking for whatever is going wrong, trying to find a solution. Now, you don't want to do like just dwell on it like with sad thoughts. You actually want to come up with a way to fix things. Okay, why is the Empress reversed and the Emperor here? Okay, I'm just picking the one over here. Or two. Five of Wands. So, yeah, there's been some fighting between you guys. So, I think you might, I could see a single parent. Oh, lovers reversed. Yeah. So, with lovers, lovers reversed. Ten of Swords, the Devil reversed, Seven of Cups. I mean, this just says if you're pregnant or not, this relationship isn't lasting. Okay, it's a it's a big old breakup. Lots of fireworks, lots of anger. Oh gosh, I got the Two of Swords again. Oh my goodness, that's the third time we had it. Ten of Wands. Yep. See, getting close to the goal. So good. But also, the, just the burden of all of this relationship fighting is a lot. Okay, but eventually you're going to be pregnant. Okay, if you even if you don't know it yet. Yep, four of swords reversed. I figured it would be in here somewhere. This is saying that you're at your limit. And look, we have the ten of wands right next to it. You are at your limit. And uh, I feel like you need to cut somebody off in order to control your thinking. But um, four of swords also talks about precaution. And I feel like you should have precaution around this emperor person because... They're the responsible party. I'm also seeing just a lot of chaos and being disillusioned with love. So again, you love this person, but there's something not right. There's something amiss, just like the cards have said. And I'm seeing it over and over again. Also, funnily enough, here there's like no growth, no progress. And then the Four of Swords reversed says no progress. Also restless. But also you're avoiding thinking about something, um, which is probably about this this person that you're dealing with but you're thinking about the sad thoughts you're just not thinking about why this is happening and it's the person so you're if this resonates for you you're going to know who it is six of pentacles reversed yeah again not equal give and take not being vigilant not paying attention to what is going on okay also this also my sign for an affair for some people all right guys sorry that it couldn't be better but I would rather, I think, what, forewarned is forearmed. So good luck in the month of October, Aquarians. Um, I don't really like this reading. Just I have an Aquarian niece, and she actually does happen to be pregnant. So hopefully none of this will resonate for her. All right, guys. Good luck.